as we proceed with the queries one thing you realize that you need to go to create you can either use query design or query wizard one of them have no problem and click simple query wizard click ok and come here you're doing the information just highlight all of them click next uh, you go to next here once you come here you are doing the word you are doing, you can now put the query that you want for example I need all the fixed assets which uh, they have uh, their names ads with R and uh, maybe you are dealing with another field for example uh, make uh, whereby the make start with uh, R for example we have R or L make uh, start with start with L So it means you need to come here, you click modify and you click finish. You get in the same destination. And the make here, that means it is starting with. So it means you need to come here, you put start with L, you put L, and you put asterisk. Uh, adding with the items, adding with. So you just come here, the item adding with, it means you need to put a stair, you start with the aesthetic and you put R. So it is the difference. You start with R, you add this with R. So it means when you add with R, uh, it means starting with the aesthetic. It means adding with, this means starting with. And you click run. Once you realize that all this product, they are adding with R, Raminator, Biden, Printer, they are adding with R, and here they are starting with L, all of them. They have qualified close, and you click yes to save. That's how you create that one query there. You can be told, for example, you did either the price here. You need to do the price between certain range. For example, you need the product starting uh, ranging from 2000 uh, to 10,000 for example in this case you need to know how many products range between that it means you need to come to create query design as usual you can come to fix asset I close double click and I write like that uh, you come here you do the with now the prices you need to put uh, the price here in this case is between the price between uh, 5,000 uh, for example the price is between uh, 2,000 and uh, 10,000 uh, between 10,000 there as you can see there this is how you put the information. You can drag a bit to see how we act like that. Remember, don't put a comma. Then you click run. Once you see here, you can see now this. Uh, we have the prices. But in my case, you can see that uh, the prices here, it have given me different information here. Because it's between that is 1,000 and the other one is between that one it means so that you collect five those mistakes you can either close and save and then once we save for example like that one then you click now the query one and go to design view and you see what is the one that i have done in this case you have the currency uh, which is now 2000 in that one you can come for example whereby it is this figure above that and you have another one here you can come you put for example uh, less than 10,000 and you click run 
all of those information we've geared up seeing that uh, that is one of the things that you can end up seeing that it's not totally working because one of the things you may see is not working between that it is because of the design that you put in your query for a currency it means you have to put either the currency here for dollar sign uh, and here you try to put another one for dollar sign and then once you try to click run that thing is not working because mostly that one is a field it requires numbers it means unless you put the numbers it can't work for that let's try to work on another one for example uh, another field whereby now we are doing the quantity let's see about the quantity for example in, in our case quantity we want a quantity between uh, quantity between uh, that is uh, 10 and uh, 50 for example 10 and 50 product then you click run as you can see automatically that one have come without no problem between 5 and 10 uh, and, and uh, between 5 and 50 of the product you can see they have come without no problem because they are, those are numbers so it means when you are doing the currency it means you need either you work with the currency or you work them in a very easier way to make them work without no problem and you just come here and you click close uh, save that one uh, as usual as for this one you can now come here now you open and see they have worked well so you just come you right click and click uh, rename but because you can't rename that one simply because you have opened close first and right click to rename query uh, right click to rename a query and now that query can put about between five and fifty between five and fifty and fifty items uh, items this is how you give it like that one and you can try to attempt as many of them as possible in those different queries for example this is for the student i need to work with that one still and see how it can work student record just drag for example data and load uh, who i load before uh, before 2014 it means you need to put January uh, 01 2014. This is how you need to put that sign of this sound represent the other represent before. Then you click run. And you see now all these ones are the one who are the, the student enrolled before 2014. Close and save yes and give uh, students enrolled before 2014 you can click ok and you try to attempt now another question for example i need all those female students who enroll after 2013 or 2015 it means in this case uh, all those one who uh, managed before that one i just required to close all of them click create query design student record then I click add and close I write as usual 
now you come you deal with the uh, uh, an old that is uh, after 2014 or 2015 so it means uh, you put that uh, 01 for January and 2015 once you put that on that means after January 2015 in this case uh, then you can just come here for gender and you put female uh, put female for that in this case once you put female then come here and you click run uh, but in this case because it is after 2015 you can put for the uh, the month ends it means you can just put uh, 31st uh, of 12 2015 that is where the year ends now you can click run and you can see only one qualified in that list and you can just come and close and you click yes and save uh, and load female student female students enrolled after 2015 and now you click ok that is how you work with various queries and there are very very many you can still tackle to work on them for example those who is they are they may be their names as we start with different between uh, amounts and date and their name starts with and names ends with if for example those who their name start with d it means you just require to do the same and you have now reason for the names uh, start with d and you can put for example starting with d your yeah, name starting with d uh, and for example their cause is a diploma uh, in this case you can learn and see you have one person who have qualified in that close and save and you save as the same as for this one as i create various queries now let's go to something else about forms and report go to create uh, well then we have types of forms here yeah, form design just come and click form design uh, i want to create form design uh, you get this kind of a uh, kind of a form just click add existing field show all tables and get the show all tables at a uh, the existing field click show all tables here and then you come now to the table that you want for example i need it for student and then i can just double click the field automatically you give and the moment you double click them you keep adding the record that you want in here you can choose to write them and format the way you want for example with that uh, color and the background for example that uh, close here and close again and save yes so once you save now that is how you create a form uh, you can come to form 
we have more forms in here you can come to form wizard uh, and now you can get for example if it is about the information you can create the information that you want for example form wizard now you can click the information that you want you come to tabula and then you click next we have student record then from there you can click finish and as you can see now we have the form uh, record as you can see here we have all this information so you can see maybe this one in advance you click there you can see it is appearing that's a form based uh, wizard and close and save yes and you save now your form as the way you want you can go to the report wizard do the same for well, this report wizard just click uh, report wizard here and once you click report wizard you can come here you choose for example i need now the product and services marketed or maybe i have the other one for the we have the other one for the table you can just put that one i put all the field i want and do you want to, in, to add any grouping level i can put for example uh, the block as a grouping level as i click next i go uh, once you click the, that uh, get it and sign will add the grouping level click next choose for example the items either in ascending or descending order click there click next we have the stepped blocked and now train click block for example or click stepped blocked and you click last skip and you click next and now you can come either actually this one or you just add the name uh, report and you click finish this i will create a report in microsoft access uh, you create a good report as that one using uh, that program called ms access without no problem and let's go to something called how you ex uh, you extract or you you ex uh, you import a data from excel to ms access and external data you need to come here uh, we have excel I need to import my information uh, to Excel. We have about the import uh, Excel and you have export. You can see we have some of them there. Uh, we have the import and we have export. It means you have variety of them here. And you have this one for here information, saved imports. And you can just click, for example, if it's about the saved import. Uh, You can come to Excel and you can come here. You choose now the one you have already saved. Uh, for example, I have that one in, uh, I have one of them here. So you can see this is a record for Excel. I need to import it uh, to come to MS Access. You just click there, click save. And okay and I just need to close although it have some variety of information there some few steps you need to follow up to reach there uh, that is how you end up getting some of the information and we have some kind of relationship still you can click relationship here and still try to work on for example I need to do the pro add and you have this one for student and those two of them i have that one for products and services or for assets i can still add for access and close you have three of them you can see they have the similarity amount paid you have the places and here you have the places for this one i can just come here i link up to here just by dragging and you create as a creator ownership 
for that one as you can see it have already having a relationship amount paid for example for this is date paid and we have date enrolled in this case we have you can see they have they don't have date you can have this date paid and date enrolled and just come here and click the date enrolled uh, for this one you need to come here you click uh, join the type just click create as I create that one in case you see there is something kind of relationship date board still this one you can link with this one and you click create that's how you end up having to create a relationship between different tables uh, with that program called MS Access 2016 and I hope you have enjoyed uh, those uh, you have enjoyed uh, that uh, tutorial uh, keep subscribing for more and you get some of those information which will help you to get more ideas about our tutorials thank you and choose tutorial download such as Kenya on YouTube and other social media to get some of those crucial information and enable you to understand more about MS Access. We appreciate you and we'll be grateful if you subscribe and have comments about our tutorials.